I'm KHU 11 digital anchor Brandi Smith, joined now by meteorologist Jeff Linder with the Harris County Flood Control District. Jeff, thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. I know it's an emotionally charged week. We're talking about the anniversary, the fourth anniversary of Harvey. Uh, the anniversary of Katrina is coming up on Sunday. And here we are looking at a storm making its way into the Gulf. What do you want people to be thinking about right now? Yeah, you know, the, the good news here for us on the upper Texas coast is that the uh, this hurricane Ida will pass well to our east. Unfortunately, it will be uh, yet another impact on the state of Louisiana and a devastating hurricane impact now what's fairly likely in south central southeast Louisiana and, and over uh, into coastal Mississippi as we get into Sunday. And so for, for friends and family that are over in that area, you need to certainly encourage them to prepare and prepare now for the storm. And they need to be heeding all the advice, especially any evacuation uh, recommendations from local officials over there. This is this is not a storm to play around with. Um, this is a serious threat that we're facing on the Louisiana Mississippi coast uh, this weekend. This is not our storm, but inevitably Houston will have one. Um, you know, maybe not this season or next season, but soon. What do you want people to prepare for now? What what can they do? Yeah, you know, the, the same recommendations that we make at the start of hurricane season every year, have a plan ready, have a kit ready. And, uh, you know, it's easy to say, but do you really have a plan and do you really have supplies uh, that are ready to go in case we do have a storm later this season uh, or any time uh, come this way? You know, a lot of the same things we do for hurricane season we can use for other situations. Uh, for example, the winter storm back in February, you needed a lot of the similar stuff uh, when you lose power or to, to get through that type of stuff. And so having a plan in place and uh, having everybody in your family and your friends know of that plan and where you're gonna go and, and uh, where you're going to be during the storm is really important. And then having that kit developed specifically for you and your family, you know, your specific needs when it comes to medication um, and pets and children and stuff like that, having, having those items and those kits uh, for those aspects that uh, you might need and somebody else might not need. And so building that specifically for for you. And then of course, following trusted uh, uh, sources of information this time of year uh, with respect to the forecast. And we've seen a lot of, of different things this week on social media, a lot of the, the model plots being shown. And, and, and if you've been watching any of that, you can see how that has vastly changed since what we were looking at Sunday and Monday to what we're looking at today. And that is why we certainly encourage folks to be very cautious when looking at the models and, and, and some of the stuff that's shown on social media and follow the trusted sources. And of course, in any sort of situation where we get into a threat to our area, heed the recommendations and advice of your local elected and local emergency officials. It is such a, a delicate balance because, you know, one of the things folks are trying to do is alert people in the Houston area that there is a storm brewing. We don't know where it's going. H how are you uh, getting that information out to folks when, when we're seeing the possibility of it developing five, seven days out, but the track and intensity is still so unclear? Well, you know, I think it's important for everybody to know that we, uh, we as the meteorologists, as, as the, the, you know, as part of the, the, uh, the National Weather Service, National Hurricane Center, your local meteorologist, we will tell you what we know when we know it. And when you're talking at, at five to seven days out, there's just a lot of uncertainty in the, in the forecast. Uh, and we saw that this week, you know, we, we had a potential threat. Uh, we had a potential for a system to move into the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, potentially threatening the state of Texas earlier in the week. And, and as we have gone through this week, and as we've been saying, as that center of circulation forms out in the Caribbean, we'll have a better idea. And that's exactly what's happened. Um, and, you know, and starting yesterday and into today, we have a really good idea that the storm is going to go into the Louisiana coast and, and have very little impact here on the upper Texas coast. And so I think it's important to remember that um, you're always going to have a lot of uncertainty in these really long time frames and really long time ranges. And it's important to keep that in mind and not get uh, overly concerned about any individual model run or individual uh, forecast that may be out there and instead wait until that confidence builds um, and you start getting those recommendations from your local officials and your emergency management officials. And that's what you need to be basing your decision on is those recommendations in the forecast uh, that come out from the National Hurricane Center. 
I want to talk about a really cool new tool that you guys released recently, the flood warning system with the interactive map. What was what's the goal there? Yeah, so you know the goal of, of our flood warning system is to get the the data that we collect at our gauges that measure rainfall and water level into the hands of the residents in this region uh, so they can make the decisions they need to make uh, um, you know if, if you have the data available to you you can make those decisions of if you need to take actions and if you need to you know stay where you're at and where the flooding is and what part of the county or what part of the region is potentially being impacted by flooding and so we've we've created the the you know the flood warning system website and we've added a lot of different tools to that being uh, the inundation mapping which is just simply showing the footprint of the flooding from the creeks in the bayou so where actually there's water across the ground uh, resulting from the overflow of creeks and bayous um, that's a, a simple kind of graphical tool you can use you don't necessarily really have to know the elevation of your house to know of the potentials there for flooding and then also um, probably the biggest advance we've done since Harvey is allowing the uh, residents in this area and our surrounding counties where we have gauges uh, to sign up for alerts that can be sent directly to your cell phone or your email. Um, and you can go in and, and create an account and then pick the gauges you want to receive information from. And so that's really a, a neat I, uh, a neat aspect we have because you know it can send you a text message in the middle of the night if the bayou is getting high. And you can go in there and we have default uh, alarm set that you can just choose or you can go in and create your own alarm. So if you wanted to know when Braze Bayou uh, in Meyerland at Rice Boulevard was half full, you can go in there and set that up and you'll get a text message. And so um, it's really a, a great way to, to have the information kind of really at, the, at your fingertips and have that what we call situational awareness. Know what is going on around your area. And it is really so simple to use. Um, poking around on there this morning, you could see just from overnight the storms that rolled through, how much more rain the southern end of Harris County got versus up in the Heights area, what the bayou levels were for all of that. And, and you can break it down, pinpoint exactly what you're looking for. Such an incredible tool and so vital as we move into the peak of hurricane season. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, you know, you bring up a great point as, you know, a lot of people move around in this area. You know, you can drive in from Portman County to downtown Houston or, you know, Kingwood down to Clear Lake. And, and you can have heavy rain and flooding in one area and be completely dry and sunny in another area. And so it's even like you mentioned this morning, it's a great tool to see where we've had heavy rain or where we've had rain and where we could potentially be having flooding. Um, in, in, in certain areas and, and where you're personally at at this moment, you may not be having any um, bad conditions. And so it's kind of, again, that situational awareness tool um, to kind of give you the heads up of, hey, there could be some issues down in this area. So you may want to avoid that area. Absolutely. And we'll provide a link to that along with this video. Jeff, was there anything else that you really want to get through to people right now? Yeah, let, me, let me give you another uh, thing for this hurricane season if you want to text golf 2021 to 888 uh, you can get alerts sent directly to your cell phone from the office of emergency management Harris county office of emergency management so again that uh, to get information and alerts this hurricane season you can text golf 2021 to 888 okay we'll be sure to include that as well Jeff Lindner, meteorologist with the Harris County Flood Control District. Thank you, as always, for taking the time. Thank you.